Today is March 20th, 2001. We're on the 85th floor, starting in the what was the mail room, uh, facing in an easterly direction, showing the hung ceiling and the light fixtures. The ceiling tiles were recently removed. We're now proceeding easterly. was facing southerly, coming back to an easterly direction. And we're coming up to the far easterly end of the new construction, which will be the uh, file clerk storage area. Painting around to a northerly direction, basically northeasterly, and we are showing a bar joist 245, the north side of it. Showing much repairs. This exposed area is consistent with the ones previously shown, with the fireproofing being within a half inch of thickness. Coming around to show the north side of bar joist 247, painting from a from an easterly to a westerly direction. I'll move around to the south side of 247. Again, painting from an easterly to a westerly direction. I'm zoom in on a an I beam that's just above two forty seven. Again, the fireproofing is approximately a half inch plus in thickness. We'll pan around to bar joist 245. on the northerly side of it. We're going to show a bar joist, approximately number 30, you see the 309 or 311. 
running from south to north. Moving further west. Seeing another I beam. This is approximately three uh, fourteen to three sixteen. Okay, that's all we can see in this area. We're going to pause for a moment. All right, we're now entering what was the um, east end of the mail room. Uh, we're out at the partition, the old where the old partition was removed, facing in a southwesterly direction, panning around to a westerly direction. We're going to cover. Um, I beam in the 245 area from east to west. And again, the chipped away area indicates the fireproofing only to be approximately a half inch in thickness. It will show part of a an I beam that is lacking any fireproof. Two forty nine, two forty five 245 terminates at this point. We're going to pause momentarily. We're now continuing on the east side of I-beam at uh, 247. Okay, again, this I beam terminates at this point.
We're going to move down to high beam at 249 area. Picking up just a bit of it, showing a lacking lack of fireproofing. We've got IB approximately 251. Uh, oh, This area shows the fireproofing to be less than a half inch. And that's all we can videotape on this portion of the room. We're going to move into the... Right, we're now facing westerly in the mail room. And we're going to be photographing, uh, videotaping the I-beam in the 245 area. And that starts right about here. And that will finish that. And at the south end of the room, we have the high beam which runs north and south. Hey, Bobby, going? And then we have the high beam at 247. This is on the north side of it. I'm going to pause momentarily. We're now looking at uh, I beam 316, approximately 316.
coming more to the northern land of 316. There's another short section of I beam. To the west of the one previously shown. I'll move into the westerly portion of the mail room. We'll move down to 322, 322, and then down to 330. Wesley partition wall of the mail room. And again, the fireproofing only showing to be approximately a half inch. And the I-beam that's on the extreme north partition wall. Difficult to show with the ceiling fixture still in place. And that will conclude the videotaping in this area.